In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God of mercy and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously gave to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, show benevolence to your church, that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The next Sabbath, almost the whole town of Antioch assembled to hear the word of God. When they saw the crowds, the Jews, prompted by jealousy, used blasphemies and contradicted everything Paul said. When Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly, we had to proclaim the word of God to you first. But since you have rejected it, since you do not think yourselves worthy of eternal life, you must turn to the pagans. But this is what the Lord commanded us to do when he said, I have made you a light for the nations, so that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. He made the pagans very happy to hear this, and they thanked the Lord for his message. All who were destined for eternal life became believers. Thus the word of the Lord spread throughout the whole countryside. But the Jews worked upon some of the devout women of the upper classes and the leading men of the city and persuaded them to turn against Paul and Barnabas and expel them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in defiance, went off to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, bring out your joy. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. If you make my word your home, you will indeed be my disciples, and you will learn the truth, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, you know my Father too. From this moment you know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, let us see the Father, then we shall be satisfied. Have I been with you all this time, Philip? said Jesus to him, and you still do not know me. To have seen me is to have seen the Father. So how can you say, let us see the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak as for myself. 
It is the Father living in me who is doing this work. You must believe me when I say that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Believe it on the evidence of this work, if for no other reason. I tell you most solemnly, whoever believes in me will perform the same works as I do myself. He will perform even greater works, because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask for in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask for anything in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I have made you the light of the nation so that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. We hear more about the accounts of St. Paul and Barnabas, who are so filled with joy, filled with the Holy Spirit, and anxious to fulfill that call that they have received from God to be a light unto the nations. While Kondroth knows after preaching in the Jewish synagogue in Antioch, they are ousted by the Jews. The Jews cannot see or they refuse to see the truth of their own scriptures which reveal the saving works in the person of Jesus. The Gentiles rejoice in the message that Paul and Barnabas bring, the message of the saving works of God. That call is one for all of us, especially in this present age of immortality and crime, where many people no longer even believe in God, especially during even this time of the pandemic. God calls us to be a light wherever we are. And Jesus asks, says to them, ask anything of me in my name and I will do it. Elsewhere Jesus has said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and the door will be opened to you. There was once a man for whose conversion his parents had prayed for many years. He had developed a very bad attitude to people, was hard with others and did not believe in God. One day he took sick and had to be taken to the hospital and laying in that hospital bed hooked up to monitors he finally realized that this could be one of his final days on earth. And it was then that he looked to heaven and said, God, I've always said that I don't believe in you, but I'll make you a deal. If you heal me, I'll believe in you. Almost immediately a warmth began in his chest and spread throughout his entire body. And he called for the nurses and told them to call in the doctor. I think God healed me, he said. And he walked out of that hospital by the end of the week. He started going to church, began giving alms, talking to anybody who would listen because of what God had done for him, because of the prayer of his parents. And he truly became a light unto others. You know, there are many people who pray and pray and feel like God does not answer. In John's version of the cure of the paralytic, that man was sick for some 38 years, almost 40 years, before Jesus even healed him. Someone once said that there can be no testimony without a test. And we sisters and brothers always persevere in faith and remember that God sees our faith. But sometimes things work out in its own time. In the Bronx, there was a Puerto Rican lady who was sharing with me once how she always prayed for her children for protection and safety, even though at times they would not go to the church. They also wore the scapular faithfully and prayed every single morning. On the day of September 11, 2001, her son should have been at work at the World Trade Center, where he always delivered mail in the various offices when those towers were hit and fell. And he should have been there that day. Somehow he oversleep, overslept, something that he never ever did. And he knows that it was his mother's prayer for him. Since then he has gone to church all the time. Jesus says in the scripture, you'll grant anything we ask him in faith, no matter how small. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be open to you. May we, sisters and brothers, persevere in faith, extreme faith during these times, despite the obstacles in our way. Ask him in faith what it is we need, if it be his will, remembering that to God, all things are possible. He has the power to move mountains. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit,
We stand as we bring before our Heavenly Father all the needs that we have. We pray for the Church throughout the world, for Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Jason, for bishops, priests, and deacons. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. Then to pray for all hospital workers and chaplains, doctors and nurses, technical staff, janitors, cleaners, grocery and market workers, and all of our essential workers who are out there during these times. We continue to pray for all leaders of government that they may enact uh, decisions that uh, will truly assist um, and benefit all the people whom they serve. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We continue to pray for vocations to the priesthood and to the religious life, especially to our karma way of life. We pray for our students, Marlon, Jonathan, and Greg, and Dave and David from a cluster, and for Mikhail, Paul, and Jeff, as they prepare for their ordination to the priesthood later this month, that they all may be holy and exemplary priests, lights unto others. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We continue to pray for God's healing hand upon George Tangchu and Mark Tangchu, Monica St. Rose, Verlene Alexander, Oma Helen. Danny Zamora and all those who are suffering from COVID-19. We pray for their full recovery. We also lift up Tatiana during her uh, pregnancy. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We also pray for the repose of the souls of Terry Downs, Sally Ronald St. Clair, Grace Walker, Monica Gonzalez, Burden Emmanuel, Winston Romani, Godfred Mondesi, and Antonia Joseph. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. For all of those for whom today is a special day, we lift up Marcia Foster Walker. She celebrates her birthday today. Uh, Christian Herrera um, from Quebec Parish. Uh, God's blessings upon him as he celebrates his uh, birthday today. We also pray for Sister Kathy Joseph as she celebrates her birthday today. And for Sister Listra, long who celebrates her birthday tomorrow. God's blessings upon all of them. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious. And for all those needs that we hold in the silence of all things. I want to lift up at this time all those who are psychologically affected by the ongoing uh, pandemic and uh, the effects of the lockdown, quarantine, social distancing, etc. We pray, Lord, that you may be with them during this time. Lord, yes. Lord gracious, yes. we unite these prayers to those of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Eternal Father, we ask that you hear these prayers that you make, for we make them with confidence in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Praises and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Mighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for good and the good of all this holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. 
we lift them all up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to obtain you, O Lord, for this time above all, to lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with possible joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all worlds. Make only therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you need to be, for this is my one to be given. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave it thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to pour out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Bishop, and the Lord of Preacher. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. We continue to pray for all of our departed uh, priests who have served him. And we also pray for Terry Downs, Stanley Ron Sinclair, Teresa Walker, Monica Gonzalez, Burton Emmanuel, Winston Romani. Wilfred Mondesi, then Haywood, and we also pray for Antonio and Joseph. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, St. Paul, St. Barnabas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We praise Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, it may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. I saw for each other the sun. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. You only say the word, and my soul shall be. I invite you to join me for an act of spiritual communion. This prayer can be found on the EWTN website of the act of spiritual. I pray slowly so that you can follow along. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated. Let 
We are partaking of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring the Lord that what your Son commanded us to do, in memory of Him, it bring us growth and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder that uh, tomorrow we have the uh, consecration of our country um, and the region uh, to the Immaculate, uh, well, to Blessed Mother. And this will take place at 8, so there will be um, simultaneous celebration of all the priests celebrating Mass. So there's grace uh, tomorrow at 8 a.m. So we will not have the 7 a.m. Mass as usual in the morning. So we encourage you to join us uh, with that at 8 a.m. tomorrow. And also at 3 p.m. tomorrow, we will have the uh, Marian uh, one of those talks are led by the Legion of Mary and Brother Marlon and B. Harry, one of our family students, who will be leading us. So that will be at 3 p.m. tomorrow. You can follow the Zoom link that we listed on this page for more information. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'd like you to join with me in praying to St. Michael for an end to this pandemic as we pray. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, throw us down to hell, Satan, and all the wicked spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. May show Mother's Day and grandmothers in advance a happy Mother's Day. God's blessings upon them. Thanksgiving for all you do for us, uh, your children. And for those who are still interested in giving um, uh, in kind um, or in cash uh, to the needy, you can check uh, for more information um, on this page also. I can assist the Archbishop with that relief, or you can go to the office to see how you can contribute at 674-3075. Uh, next time we'll be feeding people here will be on Wednesday. And so any assistance that you can provide, we most appreciate. I'd like you to have a great weekend and encourage you to stay safe.